but I don't have time to make comics. <laughs> no excuses. Come on, guys. Let's do this. All right, so my name is Marshall Lee of DonkeyJawProjects.com. I make comics. You can check out my comic book offerings for only a dollar a month at Patreon.com slash DonkeyJawProjects. And... Yeah, you can check out my progress on the Working Artist Vlog as well. But let's get to this um, idea of trying to... How, how to basically make comics when you have no time. Um, and the thing is, is a lot of people have busy lives. Uh, you know, some people are able to stay home, you know, and, and work kind of work from home and stuff like that. And some people can do this for a living. And that's awesome totally great like I that's what I'm working towards uh, but you know some of us have to do a day job you know and it's just that's part of who, your life if, if you have that no problem at all uh, but you know there's this kind of common th thread of you know I, well you know if you ask somebody well when they have a comic idea or something so how far are you along oh well you know I haven't really started because uh, I don't have time, you know, and, and things like that or, or whatever, like the, the, that's often the time is usually the big excuse. And honestly, it's not a good excuse. It, it is exactly that an, ex an excuse. And I know that because of experience and because observation. So one thing you've probably heard me talk about is the 30 days of making the th 100 days of making comics for at least 30 minutes every day for at least 30 minutes <laughs> started by Kevin Cross and that's a challenge I've done a few times and that many others have done and this is the thing this is my method to making time for comics and I'm calling it the triple M Marshall Lee's triple M method of making time for comics <laughs> and um, basically it's the make minutes matter method <laughs> hey that's four M's um, so anyways um, you know, make, make your minutes matter. And number one, start with at least 30 minutes a day. It's been proven over time and time again, that no matter how busy your life is, you can most likely find 30 minutes in a day to make comics. And honestly, if you're, if you are not doing that, I don't know that I believe you when you say you're serious about making comics um, and I know that sounds kind of harsh and there are times where people just can't do it like there are times and people there's been times in my life where that excuse actually is valid but what I've come to find out is through doing the 100 days of making comics challenge and pushing through the times when I'm out you know kind of on vacation or I have events to go to pushing through the times when I have people over and I'm entertaining pushing through times when I have hard times and you know people are going through crazy stuff in my life um, and still getting that 30 minutes in I've proven to myself that there's almost no actual time where I can't fit 30 minutes into a day um, you know one thing you might say is well you don't have kids Marsh that's a that's a big deal true absolutely true but the thing is is I've observed observed so many other people with kids with trials with a day job and still making time to make their comic at least for 30 minutes a day um, so honestly the time excuse is just not a good excuse that being said how can we move forward now again 100 days of making comics challenge great challenge to help you get on your feet and get to the point where you can kind of prove to yourself that you can make comics every day at, at this point I'm on my second year of 365 days of making comics and going pretty strong um, you know because I've done the hundred days a few times and, and it's it, it's more helpful for me to think of this as a daily habit for the rest of my life so that's what I'm doing I'm not saying everybody else needs to do that but that's just what I'm doing right now um, so start with that start trying to make a habit for 30 minutes a day here are some other things that can help though um, having a mobile setup um, so the thing is is I can't always make sit in front of my computer and make comics and that's one way that I do make comics and uh, you know so 
I have to find other things that I can do because there's a lot of different tasks when it comes to making comics. There's writing, there's thumbnails, there's, um, you know, character design. Now, I try my best not to get too caught up in world building and character design um, because you could do that for the rest of your life and never make a comic. But those are things you can do on those days when it's like, I can't get to my computer. Um, you know, maybe I can bring my sketchbook along and find some time here and there to get 30 minutes in. Even if I have to do it for five minutes at a, t at a time, you know, you can do it. You know, you can make it happen. Um, so make, have some kind of mobile tasks that you can do. And, you know, maybe you have a laptop you can bring with you. There's all kinds of things. People have iPads and all kinds of different ways that you can make it work. Maybe you just do your writing. This is what I'm doing right now. I'm doing my writing on lunch breaks. So that way I can get some time in, um, if I'm not able to get time in in the morning to actually work on the computer, which is exactly what's happening today, actually. Um, so that's one thing so number one 30 minutes a day number two mobile setup number three um is have two two to three projects kind of that you're you can work on at any time because you know the thing is right now is the script is written for the comic that i'm drawing you know but i also have other ideas that i want to write scripts for so i have a few ideas that I can kind of work off of plus I have another little um traditional style comic that I'm working on with a friend so there's a few different little things now you don't want to get too bogged down with too many projects but it's good to have a few like two or three to kind of oscillate back and forth from and you're still making progress every day on comics um number four <laughs> choose uh choose the right project um the thing is, is if you're like me and you're trying to make a career, th this doesn't really apply for somebody who's more of a hobbyist or who has just a vision for a specific thing or whatever and just wants to do that. You know, there's people who are just making comics because they just have a vision and they want to bring it to life and they don't have necessarily career aspirations. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. That doesn't even, that you can still be, think of yourself as a pro um, and do that. There's no, that's a real thing. You know, it's worth doing. Um, it's, it's just got different goals and different motivations. For me, a career thing is part of my goals and motivations as well as having a vision and making a really cool thing. Um, so choosing the right project for me is a big deal because I have a lot of ideas. That's, that's how I tend to be. I have a lot of comic ideas and I want to get to all of them I mean, I'll never get to all of them because I can ha I can sit down, you know, in the next half an hour and come up with 10 more comic ideas easy because I, I just, that's how my brain flows. Um, so, you know, not everybody's like that. I'm not trying to, <laughs> but uh, um, so choose the right project. Uh, it's, that's, that's something, the thing is, is this also doesn't apply to somebody who has never made a comic before. If you've never made a comic, start, I, I have a video, how to start making comics. Start with mini comics, start with small projects, start with a web comic, something that's easier to accomplish, quicker to accomplish, start with strip comics, things like that, you know. Um, and, and just make whatever comes into your brain and whatever you're inspired by, make that, keep making stuff until you start to get to a point where you're like, okay, there's a real big, important project I want to do right now for me, that is Lone Wolf, Akio, and most importantly is Glyph, which is being written right now. And once that is finished being written, that's going to be my main thing for a while until I get that first story done, which is going to be basically, a, it's going to be, um, issues, but it's going to be a graphic novel. Basically it, it's had that are heading towards a graphic novel. Um, so that's going to be something I'm really focused on, you know, pretty soon. Um, so anyways, uh, choose the right project so the thing is is if you're trying if you're one of your goals is to make a career you want to make those minutes matter so the best way to make those minutes matter is to choose the right project don't choose like the like i've been doing a lot of various weird little projects and none of them are necessarily leading to anywhere they're more for self-development and they're leading to me figuring out 
what I need to focus on. Now I, I have a better view of what I want to focus on. I, even after Glyph, I have other things that I want to do, but I know that Glyph is coming and that's what's going to be the main thing for a while. And that's what's going to push my career forward because I'm going to have books out. I'm going to have single issues and I'm going to have a graphic novel out. And that's a big step uh, to creating a career and I think that it's really important that I focus in on that and make that the best I can Also lone wolf and Akio and stuff like that are very important to me. Um so we got those things and then uh, last but not least um, Rest wisely. So this is uh, let's see. I think that's five tips. That's not um, rest wisely. So um it's important to rest and and it's really like this is the thing is if you're not taking the time out to rest when you need it you're actually wasting time um because you need we're human we need that rest we need that r and r to uh you know kind of stay inspired to be able to get in the flow when it's time to work. Uh, it's, just, it's just really important. And, and you'll notice throughout your days, if you pay attention to it, you'll start to notice cycles and you'll see when you have energy and when you don't. Some people kind of don't have really creative energy until nighttime. It, it kind of hits at a certain time in the night and you know they're like night owls. They really get into the flow at that time. For me, that time for me is if I were to try to do comics then I might as well not try to make comics because I'm I have no energy I'm useless I'm just useless when I try to work at those times I get tired I've fallen asleep drawing and had these like lines scrawling across the paper um, while I'm inking and stuff it's not a good situation for me but I am a morning person that's why I have the early bird art cast which are coming back by the way um, but I, I I like to, I have creative energy in the morning and I love to just get up and just get right to work. Like that's a fun thing for me and it's when I'm at my best. So, and also during the daytime at times too. And I do do some stuff at night too, but I, I try to keep the night stuff you know, more in like the fun creative realm, because if it's something that's hard to do, I'm not going to have the mental energy or the willpower to do it. Um, so you got to kind of know your flow and when you need to rest and when you need to, you know, work. So, but the thing is, is you want to make sure you rest wisely. So know when you need to rest, know when you're kind of running too thin and you need to take some time, take a break. Sometimes you just need to be like, all right, I did my 30 minutes at least today, but I need to wait till tomorrow till I get some rest and I'll be better and I'll be more fresh to take on this task. I, I see that happen a lot for me. Um, and also, you know, let yourself play and, and stuff. There's times where it's like I need to get to work and then I start sketching and I'm like, I just have fun sketching for a little while, but then I got to make sure I hone it back in and get back to the task. But let, let yourself run wild a little bit, you know, because we can't just be like robots who, who churn out, you know, creativity. You know, you need to have that kind of flexing back and forth, the warm-up sketches, whatever it is that you do to help you uh, get these things going. So even work can be rest if you're, you know, there's like, there's a difference between sketching and doodling and actually like working out a comic book page when you're doing your art. So, um, yeah that's all I have for you guys. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys got something from this. Uh, please like comment and subscribe and share this. If it's something you think will be helpful for others. And I hope you guys are doing awesome on your comics, make time to do your comics, make it happen. All right. Peace out.